So good morning and thank you everybody for selecting this talk about the use and life cycle of research infrastructures in BSC. So first thing I want to tell you about, this is Mare Nostrum, you know it. It has a total peak performance over 14 petaflops and it was number 13 in the world when it was deployed. It's a state of the art, it's a world-class research infrastructure, but we have other things. We, ha we have also Agora, 135 petabytes and growing that you may remember because last year you voted, you picked this name. So this is our Mare Nostrum, this is our big facility. But the important part is that this is, sorry, this is Mare Bestrum, this is your Mare Nostrum, it's your thing. You have every year 240 million annual CPU hours for your computing. And I have to say that you are good at it. So BSC, you have seen earlier, we are the third most successful Spanish institution when it comes to collecting funding. And if you divide by researcher, we are number one because number one and two have way more researchers than us. But you are also good in attracting HPC cycles from REST, from PRAISE, and so on. We are not so good in planning ahead, so here let me give you the message. Please, have this in mind. You can request resources in advance for your projects, and that's good for us. So, more things. You are competing too, so you have, have seen about 700 researchers, more than 100 European projects going on, a large amount of high quality publications. You are highly successful in ERC, you have a leading position in COEs, you are reference European training center, UWBSC. We are this reference, so please, go on. And now, let me ask you a question. How do you see access to these infrastructures? Is it maybe, is it not coming? Okay. Is it maybe like public toilet that is normally available and has regular cleaning? Or maybe you see a transport Reservation needed with a clear destination, or maybe like the health system with long queues to get a treatment. This is not how we see it. So let me present you VSC operations, your personal trainer on accessing. So we have access support. That's me, everything you need before applying. We have also user support, David Vicente, there for you when you have access. And we have also data management, Nadia Tonello, because not everything is HPC in BSC. And then, what happens with the rest, Maresorum, theirs? We also care about those four people that cannot work with us in BSC. For them, we have competitive access. So they have periodic calls for HPC, for data management services, and they can also come to you. So you will have a long queue of people wanting to collaborate with you with, through research agreements, through consultancy contracts, through any other means of collaboration. So benefit from it, enjoy from it. You are powerful and people will come to you. But from time to time, we have a question. There's people that don't want to work with you. And they say, can we pay to use Marinostrum? Can we buy in? Our answer is no. No. Everybody shall compete, either for your attention, either in the calls. But we are not selling. OK, more things. Interesting. Uh, industry has a place with us. We have, you heard, this Spanish competence center in HPC, big data and artificial intelligence. So there we have a collection of training and skills, access, support, services and competences. The objective is to bridge the gap, to facilitate that industry comes, works with us, collaborates with us. So whenever you have some industry wanting, come and ask for our help. Last in my talk, I also promised what happens with Mare Nostrums, so we care about our senior supercomputers. Usually, after three, four years with us, what we do is we buy another one, Mare Nostrum 5 will come soon, and we distribute the previous one in the Spanish supercomputing network. In this way, we extend the productive life of these computers, and right now, apart from those 240 million core hours you have available for you, you have another 150 in res, to compete, and you are good at that, you have seen. Okay, so with this, I'm Oriol Pineda, Head of Access Policy. This is my team, Jordi Mas, REST Program Manager, Alberto Gomez, EuroCC Project Officer. I hope this has been useful and interesting for you. 
At least this is really exciting for us. And as you can see, we fulfill our promises. Thank you very much.